Welcome to Shiny Solus plays Call of Cthulhu. I've been pronouncing that correctly. Anyways, I've set all the settings up. Now, quick note here. Changing the resolution did not work. I have tried, so if the screen seems a little bit... Or the resolution, I should say, seems a little bit wider than it should be. That's because I, I just went with a with a workaround. Um, the resolution issue, as far as I can tell, has been an issue ever since the game got released. And there does seem to be fixes for it, but I I, I couldn't I couldn't get it to work. So I I did this. <laughs> I hope it's still okay to watch. Um, let's just get right into it. Chapter 1. Pierce Investigation Agency, Boston. Boston, 1924. Edward Pierce, veteran of the First World War, drowns his memories in liquor and sleeping pills. He is now a private detective who has trouble finding a case able to lift him from his torpor. Pierce must find a new case quickly or risk losing his license. Oh, okay. If I am mad, it is mercy. May the gods pity the man who is in his callousness can remain sane to the hideous end. H.P. Lovecraft. Yeah, I don't know why there was oh, subtitles to that, but... Oh, that was gross. Oh, this is gross. Is it dropping me right into it? Nope. Yes? Please no. Okay, apparently, uh, yes. Can't go back there, huh? Oops, sorry. Might need to lower the mouse sensitivity a bit. The audio should be okay. I didn't want it to be too quiet. Yeah, I'm, I'm... <laughs> uh... Control, camera sensitivity, drop that please. Thank you very much. I might turn off motion blur later as well because it's actually a little bit uh, nauseating. This mist effect by the way. I don't know if you can see it, but it's it's sticking in the same place. Does that make sense? These are just my first observations, by the way. It's not um, negative commentary or critique. It's just uh, something I notice. Like there's a haze in front of my vision rather than there actual being, actually being fog or mist or whatever. Yeah, I, uh, for Crouch, I turned it to C instead of left control, because I actually don't like left control. My hands are tiny, okay? <laughs> Can I... Oh, okay, I got you. Yeah, well, I could have told you you wouldn't be able to get through there. Okay. What? When I select the running button, that definitely... Gets me out of crouch. Okay, good. Can I run? Yeah, I I can do this again, but that's not gonna do anything, is it? I hope I don't have to run away from something. What? Okay, how do I lighten them up, though? I have a bad feeling about this. 
Hurricane lamp. I'm guessing I don't fall in the water. Do I get in the boat? I can't jump. <gasps> Fudgicles. What's that? What was that? I'm, I'm guessing I don't go into the water at all. What else can I do? I thought it was a pretty much a dead end, but... Oh, okay. So I can only see the items if I have like, my lamp on, which creates a weird ghastly green-blue glow, but that's fine. We're gonna lose that bolt cutter, aren't we? We're not Just in case I'm t keeping my light off. Well, this is... Yeah, I think so too. It looks really gross. Wow. Then stop drinking whiskey. Been too long since I've slept in a bed. Been too long since I've slept in a bed. Journal. Let's see. The doctor can well repeat to me that I no longer need my remedy to keep my memories at bay, but I know that if I stop, the memories will return. One of these mornings, I probably won't wake up. Despite the treatment, I again hear voices in my dreams, but they are different, unknown. They seem to surface from unfathomable and ancient depths. What nameless creature is calling me? Well, that's not foreshadowing at all. Pierce. Oh! Skill tree. Okay. Do I already have points or... Hang on. Hang on, what's this? Okay, so in order to improve, okay, hang on, I'm gonna I'm gonna go through them one by one. Occultism represents your knowledge of the occult sciences. Improving this skill increases your chances of determining the use and origin of occult artifacts and of expressing your knowledge of the myth. The medicine and occult skills can only be improved by objects discovered in the environment. Okay. I, I want to get full on that one, but I probably won't. <laughs> Medicine. Represents your medical knowledge. Improving this skill increases your chances of determining the dosage of a drug, of making a do diagnosis, or of expressing your understanding of a medical problem. Okay. I also want to figure that out, but I don't know how. A strength. Represents your ability to call on your physical power. Improving the skill increases your chances of forcing doors or mechanisms or of using violence, physical or verbal, during interactive discussions. Okay. Investigation. 
represents your investigating talents. Improving this skill increases your chances of understanding past events by analyzing, analyzing a crime scene or an object and of picking locks. Hmm. Psychology represents your knowledge of human behavior. Improving the skill increases your chances of understanding the motivations of a person based on his or her behavior or on the analysis of objects. Okay. Spot hidden. Spot hidden represents your ability to find hidden objects. Improving the skill increases your chances of finding hidden objects. An undiscovered object will not appear in game. Okay, perhaps if I increase this, I'll be able to get more occultism and medicine easily uh, leveled up. Because I'm guessing some of these things might be hidden. That's my guess. Anyways, eloquence. Represent your ability to influence those you talk to by your power of speech. Improving the skill increases your chances of convincing or manipulating during discussions. I like that one. Sanity. Oh, mental trauma. Nightmares. Edward Pierce is a veteran of the First World War where he took part in the Moise Argonne Offensive. He is one of the few survivors of the Lost Battalion. American units that suffered heavy losses from enemy and allied artillery fire. Forced to hold their position for several days surrounded by the bodies of their fallen comrades without food or medical supplies, the soldiers were considered as lost by their fellow countrymen. Pierce is traumatized by these events. He consumes sleeping pills and liquor to ward off the nightmares that haunt him. If you combine sleeping pills though with liquor, doesn't that sometimes usually... <laughs> create nightmares for people I, I don't know so my question is i just started the game right i only went like i only had that um nightmare i guess and i get that a character person would have skills anyways from the moment that you play them, they would have already already had that experience. Maybe that's the logic to follow here, but as for a game, I kind of think it's a bit weird that you already start off with percentages and points already attributed. Reset? I don't... Maybe I shouldn't. No, I'm gonna try. Reset? No, that doesn't work. Remove? No. Habitants. You don't have any information yet. Places. My private detective agency contracted to the Wentworth Detective Agency. After the Great War, I decided to set up in Boston, where there is no lack of work for guys like me. One small-time case follows the other. Adultery, settled scores, disappearances that are not actually disappearances. The old office couch is less comfortable than a real bed, and I should probably get rid of these empty bottles, but this place is mine for the moment. Clues, no clues. Inventory. Lost Battalion. Uh, I'm guessing 7th of October, 1918. My old lighter that I engraved in the memory of the 7th, 7th inter 77th Infantry Division and the men of the Lost Battalion who fell. Okay, so that's all we have so far. This is gonna be me. I used to be an avid reader. Okay, me too. Actually, I used to be. The Wentworth Agency doesn't attract top-notch cases. I'm. I'm not gonna press that just in case. Married woman runs off with her girlfriend husband couldn't understand it. The husband never understood that his wife had left him. He kept on calling me weeks after the investigation had closed. Oh, I can... Oh, I can... Rotate. And look at it. Nice. Okay. Uh, back. Oh, so... This episode probably gonna be me looking and reading into a lot of things. At a lot of things. Oh, 
I'll, I'll go through this one by one. The good old story of blackmail in a speakeasy. The bar owner who hired me didn't like the way I closed this case, but when you're already outside the law, there's not a lot one can do against a private detective who's got proof against you. Okay, but what what happened in that case though? Maybe, maybe I can check it out. Uh, oh, that's that's the wrong <laughs> inventory. No. Okay, you can't read more about it. Natural sciences, linguistics, archaeology. I feel I recognize this voice actor from another game I've played. Natural sciences, linguistics, archaeology. I can't remember which game that I was though. Rid of all this stuff. What is this anyways? Oh, Boston. Right. Boston hit by the most severe blizzard in years. No paralyzing traffic. There's just loads of whiskey bottles everywhere. In this in this cupboard cabinet, sorry cabinet, near the trash bin, can, whatever. Several over there. Yeah. Can I turn you off? It's nice. It's nice, but it distracts me from thinking. It's been a while since I jotted down something other than my nightmares. <laughs> yeah, the phone's ringing. Don't worry, I'm just reading things that I should already know by now. Um, what? What did I pick up? What did I pick up, though? <laughs> Oh, whatever. Have a drink. Don't drink. Don't drink. Stop drink. Oh my gosh, shut up. Can I leave without picking up the phone? I wonder why I still take these things. Yeah, these are the sleeping pills. Alright, there's nothing else. Can I... I have business here. Ah... <laughs> Fine, I'll pick up the ringing phone. I'm listening. Are you Edward Pierce? Private investigator contracted by the Wentworth Detective Agency? That's correct. Hello, Mr. Pierce. I'm Lucy Sheriffield, in charge of investigators over at Wentworth. I'm calling because of a problem with your file. A fire has destroyed some of our documents. Oh, come on. Is that right? I'm so very sorry, but I have to collect your personal information. Uh, okay, why why did the skill tree pop up here? Do we need to do something now? Allocate your character points. Each character point allows you to improve a score, the score of a skill. So how many? Oh, I have eight ready. Okay, well this already costs six, but then it would be level four out of five, I guess. Um... I did say I want to have the spot hidden ones, though. Six for the next one. Oof. I like the psychology one and the eloquence. I, but I think they're... They could... Mm, they could have fallen under under the same skill, but I, I guess I understand that there is a difference. Just because you understand psychology uh, or people's behavior very well doesn't mean that you're eloquent with words, I guess. But um, both influence how you talk to people or able to... whatever. Mm -hmm. See, increases your chances of convincing or manipulating during discussions. And here it's like, increases your chances of, uh, oh, understanding. Oh. Hmm. Both need four. So, 
I guess I'll do... I think I'll do uh, eloquence first and psychology after that. So I'm gonna. There we go, and then there. Now what? Validate. Do you really want to validate? Yes. No. What's wrong? As you know, we wish to closely monitor the progress of our contractors. And it would seem you've been accepting fewer new cases. Work is scarce. Mr. Pierce, you know as well as I do there's never been more investigative work than now. But are those cases worth it? They're worth not losing your license. <laughs> No. <laughs> I'm coming. <laughs> Sir, I came here on the advice of a person whom I hold in high esteem. And I must say that I expected anything but a drunkard's lair. Hey. Interesting painting you got there, dude. Free to leave anytime, sir. Do you know to whom you speak? Stephen Webster, industrialist and art collector. All of Boston knows you. Tell me, Mr. Pierce, are you capable of handling oh. a new case or are you simply a deadbeat inebriate? If you come to me, it means you're desperate. <laughs> Nobody believes me. They take me for an old fool. I Sarah, wonder why. My little girl. She is dead. Even you must know of her. She was Sarah Hawkins. The painter? Yes. Everyone knows her work. The police accuse her of killing her family. They all died in a fire. Sarah, her husband, and Simon, my grandson. I can't do anything for a woman who is already dead. Find out the truth. They say she was mad, but I know that's a lie. She would never have done such a thing. But if you have no proof... I've brought all that I have. Look. I want you to look carefully at this painting. Tell me all the assumptions that come to mind. Looks like the nightmare I had. What am I supposed to find? Tell me... Tell me if this is the work of madness. Can, yes. <laughs> or if, on the contrary, you manage to detect some logic, a rationality to follow so that I may understand it. Is that all you want from me? Yes, please. All right. I'll look at your picture. What? That's all you've got? The painting? I placed a file on your desk. It contains everything I have on the affair. Okay, so... I'm opening the journal, but I'm first going to explain something. Um, you might have noticed from my uh, reaction just now. I, f I found moving in and out of the... What's it called? Uh, the scene? Cutscene, I guess. That it was kind of jarring. Because first it's like, okay, then there's this scene. Then there's a slight black f flash. And then... It cuts to like in game, so not a cutscene anymore. And then it flashes black again, cuts to a cutscene again, and then goes back to a little bit of in game cutscene before continuing. So, um, kind of. That was a little bit jarring. That's just what I wanted to say. I don't know what you think of it, but that's. That's. Yeah. Let's see. This seems new from starting from this point. Strange picture painted by Sarah Hawkins a short while before her tragic death was sent to her father just after the artist died. He is convinced that she is the sender. He brought me the painting so that I could examine it. 
Okay, Stephen Webster, the wealthy industrialist, came to my office. He wants me to reopen the Sarah Hawkins case named after his daughter, who died in a fire alongside her entire family. I must examine the documents he compiled in order to know more about the case. Okay, so examine the painting and examine the Hawkins file. What's in my inventory that's new? Oh, that. Okay. A warehouse on Dark sketches of the Hawkins family. Rather thin. A place called Darkwater seems kinda fishy to me. Anyways, a shipping label. Some of it is unreadable, but I can make out part of the address. Warehouse 36, Darkwater. The police report. It says that the fire started in the dining room and claimed the whole family. The police decide on a domestic accident, but they nevertheless insist on Sarah Hawkins's mental frailty. Why? A press cutting. An article written about the marriage of Sarah and Charles Hawkins, a businessman from the island of Darkwater. They live a recluse life there. They live a recluse life there with their only son, Simon. Okay. Can I? I can rotate all of these things that are somehow glued together <laughs> sure examine the painting will do oh what's this symbol on the man's chest it's as if sarah hawkins breathed a message into it so mr pierce what do you make of these elements uh, you shouldn't take this painting lightly. Oh, unlocked. Oh, unlocked. Oh! <gasps> Whoa! Okay, I read about our mental fragility in the police report. Something's not right with this story. Where did Sarah Hawkins live? Find out about where I was. I, I, I'll go with the unlocked answer, to be honest. I'm guessing that has to do with one of my skills that I've unlocked. The meaning. Exactly as it appears. I think your daughter is sending you a message. That's what I believe, too. It was three months ago that I received the call from the police telling me of my daughter's death. And yet a short while after, this painting was delivered to my home. The painting is linked to this case, can't you see? You must find the meaning behind all this. I would say it's linked anyways to the case because it's from your deceased daughter, right? So... We already did that one. Uh... The sender's label mentions Warehouse 36. That's right. It came with Sarah's last painting. And you think your daughter could have been the sender? That is what you must find out. Go to Darkwater. Find Warehouse 36. Hmm. Darkwater? Never heard of the place. Where is that? It's a small remote island off the coast of Boston. Sarah lived there with her son and her husband. I suppose you want to ship me off there. Darkwater holds the secret regarding my daughter, Mr. Pierce. You must uncover it. You must tell me if what the police suggest about the mental state of your daughter is true. No. Sarah had... Visions, everyone knew that. She never would have heard a fly. She only thought she saw things. Saw things? What do you mean by that? I never knew what she meant by that. My daughter was an enigmatic figure, Mr. Pierce. You must find out the truth about her life and death. Okay, so these are grayed out except for that. I'm going to select this one again just in case. The sender's label mentions warehouse... That's right. It came nope. with and you think you're that is what you must go to dock. Okay, so that doesn't gray out. Her husband was a big deal on the island. But the police are sticking to the accident theory. Though they mentioned Sarah's mental state was fragile. I believe you are right, sir. This case is not as simple as it appears. I am aware of that. I believe there is more to this case than just an accident. Yeah, okay, that's all the information I, I need. I'm beginning to understand. I'm willing to do anything for my daughter to recover her honor. Quiet down. <laughs> I'm on your 
your side. Let some things up. He wasn't and yelling or anything. <laughs> with her family in a house fire. Mm -hmm. Your only clue is a sort of promontory painting sent from Darkwater right before her death. Correct. And the rumors about her supposed folly. Which you don't totally deny. Find that warehouse. Find out the truth regarding Sarah Hawkins' death. You'll be handsomely compensated. All right. I'll take the case. I'll go to Darkwater and look into the death of your daughter. Thank you, Mr. Pierce. I didn't expect any less coming from a man in your situation. Hey. Something's queer. But it's not like I have a choice. I'm really... Oh. Darkwater. I think I've got a book on the North Atlantic. I'll no doubt find some information on this island in there. Oh yeah. All that remains is to leave for Darkwater. I'll certainly find something on Darkwater in my bookcase. Okay. I would think leave for Darkwater would be the last objective, not the first objective. But then again, apparently the sec it is a secondary objective. Anyways, Natural let's see. Natural sciences, linguistics, no? archaeology. Darkwater is off there the coast of Boston. But I've never heard of it. Probably because it doesn't exist. Book, it was often mentioned during whale hunting times at the end of the 19th century. But it seems to have been shunned since then. Darkwater Island has been inhabited since the 14th century and is still rich with the many memories left by its lost tribes. Okay, but don't let the romanticism of these moving evidences of such na naive and primitive beliefs fool you into forgetting how violent their gods were. A gigantic creature still, creature still ornates the walls of long abandoned caves. Was it a sea or a dream god? Or both? No one knows. But today's inhabitants, the sons and daughters of the proud whale hunters, still remember the mysterious and tumultuous story of their Shut up, car! I hear you honking all the time! And tumultuous story of their small land off the coast of Massachusetts. Can I rotate? Atlas of Atlantic Islands. Brrr. Okay. All I have to do is go to the port. I just hope that I can find a boat able to take me to... Well, didn't know you'd stop, stop talking. I think I think I've investigated every single Did I investigate Lost this? Battalion. No. Holding your position and obeying orders. That isn't courage. You you're gonna leave this painting like that when you leave in the sun like that? It's it's gonna it's gonna desaturate, dude. It's gonna get all not nice. Huh? Oh not taking my hat? Well, let's leave then, I guess. <gasps> Wait, no. This wasn't on the chair before, was it? A dense work aimed at interns and young practitioners. This first volume lists all the illnesses known in the civilized world. It details the symptoms and suitable treatment. Progression. Alright. Um... Oh, I'm gonna leave my office tidy. I used to be an avid reader. So there's, what there did more things pop up, to do? Is there anything else I'm missing? Oh, I can't turn that back on. Okay. There's nothing else, is there? Oh, that's dark water. Okay. Now I'll leave. Leave, 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 leave. Chapter 2, Dark Water Port. Pierce took the Hawkins case. The cursed artist is accused of having caused the fire that killed her and her family. As the only clue, she left her father a disturbing painting on the shipping label and address, a warehouse set on the docks of the island of Darkwater. The place seems to be the starting point for Pierce's investigation.
Oh, we're getting the intro now. Oh, hey, cool beans. I was about to say I didn't see anyone on the ship when they showed the top view. Which is weird, because there should always be someone on the lookout. Pretty sure. Even if it's a smaller sh small ship as well. Especially during fog. I know a thing or two about ships and stuff. <laughs> We're almost there. Okay. Ah, uh, yes. I see. Sort of. Because of the mist. There we have it. Call of Cthulhu. Now, something... I don't know when they're gonna start talking, but until then, I... Now, I don't know, but apparently the pronunciation of Cthulhu you can pronounce in different ways. There isn't actually a fixed way of saying it. Um, HP Lovecraft had specified, I think, at one point, because it's not, like, from our language, so it's... you. Stay on board. Oh, okay. There's guys coming to unload. Welcome to Darkwater Island, Mr. Pierce. Why, thank you, Captain Fitzroy. So, what wind brought you? Does the Hawkins case mean anything to you? Ah, a sad story that we would all prefer to forget. Charles Hawkins may have been a landlubber, but he was a good man. And his wife, Sarah Hawkins. A uh, nice young woman, and a great painter. What a tragedy. You know what? Go have a drink of the Stranded Whale. What you need is a good pick-me-up. Mitchell may not be very welcoming, but his bar holds a surprise for you. As for me, you'll find me at the Harbor Master's office. If it's the Hawkins family that brings you here, I have a pile of documents that should interest you. Understood. I'm going for a look around the docks. I don't know if... What's his name? Mitchell's surprise is something I'll like, but sure. Is that a whale? Looks like a whale. Looks like an orca. Anyways, I'm, I'm gonna try and keep the episodes a bit shorter for this one so they're a little bit more manageable if... Uh, uh, when you're watching, um, when you're watching the recordings of these, I mean, <laughs> like now, right? <laughs> Anyways, that was awkward. I swear I didn't. Um, so uh, yeah, welcome to Dark Water. I hope you enjoyed. Um, see you next time. Good night and goodbye.